Yo, what is up, guys? The Gamer Beanie here, bringing you the Mazda RX-7 Drift build. This car is a very easy car to get into, um, and it slides, as you can see, quite freely here. Unfortunately, in the minute someone ruins my drift by getting in the way, uh, one of the driver tires. But as you can see here, it's quite easy to keep it in the same kind of line, and it drifts so freely. Low speed drift as well as high speed drift. Uh, its peak is probably about third to fourth gear. Get a little bit of a drift out of it in second. Gear ratios are quite short on it, but don't let that disappoint you. Alright, so first of all, you're going to want to go to uh, the conversions and do an aspiration conversion and put a turbo on there. That's what we'll be doing for all the Mazdas. Uh, and then for the engine, you're going to install everything maximum. So, this is just a little heads up as well. After the Mazdas, I'm putting up the Dodge Ram or the Ram, whatever you want to call it because there's only one car to do in there and then the Zubrus will be going up as well I've already pre-recorded two of the Zubrus so I've pre-recorded one two three four five six videos today obviously just uh, get me through the week if I can't get around to doing any videos or if I didn't feel like doing it uh, for platform and handling install everything and uh, yeah comment down below after the Zubrus if you've got any suggestions I was thinking the Lexus unfortunately there's only one Lexus so um, I was expecting to see more for dry train again it's still everything and for your tire compound you're going to put the I don't know why I'm going back for the dry train again oh, well, I do apologize about that but for the tires you're gonna put a stock compound obviously uh, your whips standard as normal so stock and I'll show you the rims I got now sorry about that I was yawning so yeah I pre-recorded six and I've got two Zubrus done so I've got another three to do I might try and get them done like now but we'll see what happens here I'm showing you obviously the body kit I've installed on this vehicle. Thank you for your support as well on all these drift builds so far. I appreciate it. Um, just keep it up. I hope you guys are enjoying these drift builds. It's going to take a long time to get through them but we'll get there eventually. And then for tune you're going to do a minus 1.0 on the front and rear for camber. Your toe out on the front 0.1 and uh, your toe out on the rear is 1.1. Your front cast is high at 7.0. Your springs are dropped all the way to the floor as we do for every drift build. And your differential on this one's 100% acceleration and 10% deceleration. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I am out. Peace.